before we actually go ahead and look at that, we're gonna go over here and look at this little mess we have. Um, there's a lot more stuff I wanna do with the cable management. It's not perfect yet. We just moved in here like a month ago, so I still have things to do. And I know this does not match my desk, right? But I just got this desk, so that is why. Um, all the links to everything will be in the description besides all the small stuff like video games. But obviously everyone knows the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. And this cord here charges my controller while I play. Um, so it does look a little bit messier having that there. But I'm not going to change it to make it look clean for the video. I do want to show you guys how it really is. And that's how it really is. I also have over here Xbox One charging port and the... PlayStation 4 charging stand thing. They're both stands. Um, um, I really don't use them much, but they're there. And over here, I know, I know, why do I have that one in portrait? Um, it's just because I don't really have another one of those. And so, um, yeah. I'm waiting to get one of those to put there. So right now I have this Asus 27 inch. I don't even know the name of that. Um, I got it a couple years ago. Not really a huge fan of it. All right, not a huge fan of it. We had to wait for the focus there. But these two are my babies. I have two 24 inch Asus VG248QE. These are both 144 Hertz monitors. I absolutely love them. They look great. Everything about them, fantastic. Asus, good job on the monitors. They're fantastic. And over here, I have the Rode arm that hold my Astros. I don't really have a place for my headphones yet. Um, I need to get like some place to put it on the bottom of my desk, but uh, that will be in the future. Um, not right now, worried about it. This does good enough for me. And I also have the USB Rode mic. Pretty solid, um, probably one of my favorite USB uh, microphones out there. Um, as, as I said before, the links to those will be in the description. And all this does sit on the IKEA. I don't really remember the name of the desk, but I will find it and put it in the description. I like it. Um, they do have different colors like black and stuff. Uh, I chose white, looks clean, I think. And yeah, so right here we do have the Razer Black Widow Chroma keyboard changes a lot of colors. I just have it green because green and green, and then my green Razer Death Adder Chroma. So this one changes colors as well. And this is all on the extended. There is a speed one. Didn't really want to mess with that, but control one feels great. Looks good. I like the way it looks. Um, it makes my desk look a lot better. I think having that on top of that. Um, yeah, I also have the Bose speakers. They're not amazing or anything. They're pretty, pretty solid, but nothing crazy about them. Um, and I got the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. This one's actually a scuff controller. Yeah, so that's that. And down here, you can see we have the LED lights. I love them. Look good and don't look at the cable management. I tried my hardest. The best part about everything I did is I don't have anything by my feet. I know there are a couple things up there and the HDMI cord over there. Um, this monitor needs an HDMI cord and this HDMI cord is very small, so I couldn't really work it around. So yeah. So we're gonna go down here into the monster. I know it's a red case. I've had this case for a while. Let me just show you how old it is. I have an i5 and an i7 sticker. So that's how long it's been. Um, this is a couple years, and then I finally decided to upgrade to an i7 a couple years ago. Um, so it's just kind of like an old case, but it doesn't really look too bad, but it really doesn't go with like, I mean, I guess it does add to my Christmas colors going on here, but you know, not really that crazy. Um, I'm gonna turn this to the side here and show you guys. I got the Cool Master cooling down my i7 4820K, 3.7 hertz, gigahertz. Um, 16 gigabytes of RAM in there, and also my graphics card is a GTX 670. Nothing crazy, I need to upgrade it. I need a lot to be you know, done to it. Um, and I have one terabyte of 
HDD, 120, 120 gigabytes of SSD. So the motherboard in that is a gigabyte GAX79 UP4. As I said, the link will be in the description to all these. Um, and it also is a Windows 10 computer. So nothing really crazy going on. As I said, um, I got a nice little lamp over there. Um, I got my nice little tripod. That is what I use for my videos. I go ahead, stick it right here, and I put it right there. Um, once I get all my monitors and stuff, it'll be completely different, but for now, this is how we're rocking it. I do wanna get a nice little mount, mount thingy, so they're all mounted up a little bit higher. But for now, this is how they are. So there is a lot I need to improve about the setup. I know I just moved in here a month ago, so we have a lot of stuff to do. Cable management, a little bit better. A um, lot more that I need to do to it. I really do like this setup a lot. Um, I love having three monitors, but I do need the third monitor, my third Asus, so it looks a lot better having to clean all, all the way across. You may ask why I have three monitors. I use all of them all the time. I'll be gaming on one, have a video on the other, have something else like Skype or something else on that one. Um, that is why I have three monitors. Focus, 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 focus. So that is why I do have three monitors. Um, I enjoy it. Um, I hope you guys do enjoy my setup. If you guys do want more of a room tour, I guess, I will do one of those. If you guys want, you guys can go leave it, leave some comments, let me know that you guys want to see a full room. Um, TD did show that a little bit in his video, so I didn't really want to do it. And if you haven't already, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video, peace out.